Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Explorer. I am here with my wife, Andrea. Hello. And we have made it to the outskirts of Quebec City. We flew into Montreal last night. We drove to Quebec City and we're gonna go explore Quebec and what it has to offer. I'm really excited. Join us on our little adventure. On our way into Quebec City, driving along the Trans-Canada Highway, we saw a beautiful waterfall and suspension bridge. Le Parc de Chutes de la Chartière, or the Chartière Falls Park. It looked really cool, so we had to stop and check it out. So we are in the city of Levi, which I want to read it as Levi, which is across the St. Lawrence from Quebec City. Yeah, so we're not gonna pretend we know French. Um, we're gonna do our best to pronounce things in this video, but there's a lot of things I'm sure we will get wrong. Mm -hmm. Beautiful boardwalks in here, great views of the waterfall. This is kind of what we could see along the Trans-Canada Highway, that and this suspension bridge. This suspension bridge is 113 meters long, pretty cool. And to think we didn't even know this would be here, and we love suspension bridges. And waterfalls. Oh, this is pretty cool. Did you bring a love lock, Andrea? No, did you? No, I forgot, <laughs> but uh, maybe next time. Let's go check out those waterfalls. We're gonna walk along the water down there. Pretty cool. Hi, Andrea. Hi. This is a fun little suspension bridge that we stumbled across. Super cool. It's free of charge to get in here as well. And the parking was free. The burgers were not. No. <laughs> <laughs> So a trek down the boardwalk stairs will take you right down to the base of the river and you can access this really cool river bottom. The rocks are very interesting. So I just, I think this is kind of cool. Like this is the rock, it's all broken up and they're all really, really flat and... Good for skipping. You think? I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. Bit of a trek, but we made it. These waterfalls are amazing. My two favorite things, waterfalls and suspension bridges all in one place. It's super humid here and we are sweating. Really humid. Kind of like Mazatlan a few years back. Yeah, but August, yeah. we have to go up all these stairs and the humidity, super fun. But we do have cooled seats in the car, so. That's cool. That's cool, so we'll have to go back to the car turn on the air-conditioned seats. Let's take a look here. Whew. So we're gonna head out here from the park in Lévis and we're gonna head out to our hotel which is in Quebec City in kind of the lower town. Now we're staying in the Best Western and it looks to be under construction on the left-hand side here. Um, it's located at Rue de Roy here in Lower Town, um, not Old Town, but Lower Town of Quebec. Um, this is the entrance here to the hotel. We'll give you a quick room tour. We got room 611 and a couple queen size beds in here. Which is nice. We're actually on the top floor, so it's a nice quiet room to have. And a little view of the city, not of Old Quebec though, but of the city. Of some of the buildings down here. Coffee maker, fridge, TV safe there's a couple of robes there as well as an ironing board so you can iron my clothes <laughs> typical washroom in here towels and but a shower head that goes up and down so if you're tall or short they've got you covered so we've checked into our hotel here at the best western plus city here in quebec city it was an adventure getting here <laughs> that was a mouthful yeah. yes yes so a lot of construction going on Yes, the roads are closed everywhere. It was a bit of a nightmare. And how was the uh, GPS in the car for giving us accurate directions? The GPS in the rental car was totally wrong. It's telling us to turn left on roads that you're not allowed to turn left on, one-way street. So good old Google Maps saved the day Woo! and took us around the block. <laughs> but we did make it and um, a lot of detours. 
but we are here. We're here. We did some shopping on the way at Laurier Quebec Mall. It's about 20 minutes from here. Huge shopping mall. Mm -hmm. um, so we did that. We went for an early dinner, kind of lunch Pacific time, early dinner Quebec time. Mm -hmm. We went to the Baton Rouge, which is kind of a steakhouse. They also have burgers and different things there. Mm -hmm. um, what did I have? I had the big devil burger with onion rings and different things and it. it was really good i'll throw a picture up so you can see what that looked like and andrea you had the louisiana chicken so it was actually more of a, a salad with a really nice sweet comforting sauce on it it was really good as you know because I, I might have snuck a taste yeah it was really good so we already did dinner we might get a snack here tonight so we're here um in downtown quebec for this evening and all day tomorrow so later on in this video we'll show you what we get up to in downtown Quebec. We might go out a little bit and explore tonight depending on how much time we have, but most of it's gonna to be tomorrow. And we're excited. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing here in Quebec. We haven't been here before, so we are definitely excited to visit. So here's another quick look at our hotel, which is currently being painted. Now our hotel is off about a block from a really cool street called Rue St. Joseph. And here you'll find lots of dining options, as well as the St. Roche Catholic Church. Poutineville, now Quebec is known for their poutine. Well, I think it's uphill both directions from our hotel <laughs> to the old town area. <sighs> Are you tired? Hot, yeah. Hot. It's really hot and muggy out. And it's almost 7.30, it's still hot. We're just outside the gates of Old Quebec and we found Place de Uville. If you haven't heard of this before, right now in the summertime, it's a place you can sit, relax, maybe lounge around on one of these day beds, um, maybe enjoy a beverage. In the winter time, they turn that into an ice skating rink. So really cool down here. Now, Quebec City is a walled city. Um, this is one of the entrances to the city and this is part of the fortification of Quebec National Historic Site. So this is St. John's Gate, kind of the entrance here and we're going to go climb up it. Let's hike up some stairs. Cannons! Can There's cannons! <laughs> cannons! This is Artillery Park. There's lots of cannons. I'm already noticing that here in Quebec City, super cool. On top of the gate, off in the distance there is where we'll find the other gates. We're hoping to check those out tomorrow. Let's have a quick look off the side here. This is Rue St. John, kind of the main street here in Quebec. Lots of restaurants and shops to look through. On the other side, if we look back, there is Place de Uville, which we just showed you. Very cool. Let's take another look of St. John's Gate here from the street view. So cool. And to enter the town here, it is like stepping back into history. I love the cobblestone streets. It's full of souvenir shops down here, restaurants. Cool as a moose if you watched our Banff vlog. Very cool down here. Now I've heard good things about this Boutique Mary's popcorn. They're supposed to have lots of flavors. It smells so good. We'll have to consider this for later. Yeah. There's also an Irish pub down here, but it's starting to get late. So we are gonna pick this up with you first thing in the morning. So we're walking into the lower part of Quebec City. We're gonna go find some coffee and uh, yeah, just enjoying our stroll. It's actually about a half hour walk to the lower part from our hotel. So um, we should be there shortly. Along our way, we saw the historic train station, as well as saw lots of different kind of art, like the statue here. There's very interesting tunnels that lead you to really cool place. They take you back to maybe your childhood. There's restaurants and little sitting areas all over the place. There's a lot of cool architecture. The buildings are brick. It's really interesting. This is something we don't see a lot of in BC. Yeah, it's really neat here. Right beside us is the Quebec Assurance Building. Up there. It's pretty neat down here. 
So we are now at the St. Lawrence River, which is at the foot of Lower Old Quebec. Over there you can see La Vie. And the St. Lawrence River, if you're not familiar, goes all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. And here is the cruise port. So down here, if you are cruising into Quebec City, this is where the cruise ships would dock at the bottom. And way up there, you can see the funicular and Chateau Frontenac up there. There are also boat excursions in this area. That's super handy if you're coming here on a cruise. It definitely is. Now, if you are cruising here, wow, what a city to cruise into. The cruise ships come right up to Old Town. Very easy to explore the old city if you do come here on a cruise ship. You're right in the heart of Old Quebec. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be an amazing place. All the cobblestone is right here, the heritage, the history, the clotheslines, the cannons. It's all right here if you are cruising here. So what a great place if you are looking at kind of a um, Eastern North American cruise. Um, this would be a great option. You can see the funicular, the elevator kind of thing up ahead there, as well as the Chateau Frontenac. And there's even a church down here that you can check out, take your own self-guided tours. This is the Notre Dame de Victories Church. So this isn't the big Notre Dame church, that's up above, we'll try to check that out later today. But you can do kind of a self-guided tour in here and look at this church as well. And that was free of charge. I think it's time for some coffee, Andrea. I think so too. We haven't had our coffee fix yet for the day. There's a coffee shop right next to the church, Smith Cafe. Um, go check this out. It was a great coffee shop. I'm super excited for my morning coffee. And it's air conditioned. So we just had black filtered coffee at Cafe Maison Smith. It was the best black coffee I've had in Quebec. It was really good. It may yeah. have been the best black coffee I've ever had. It was really good. It was if perfect. You're, if you're here, make sure to go into Cafe Maison Smith. Dark roast. Dark roast, yes. Lots of souvenir shops down here where you can get all of your Quebec and Canada gear. Do not feed the bears. Do not feed the moose. Quebec license plates. All your Quebec shirts and t-shirts all in one place here in Old Quebec. So art comes in many forms, including upside down cars. There's three of them here. I think that might be a Kia or something. A Pontiac and a Volkswagen. Maybe you can have a little picnic up here in the grass. Here's one of the murals here in Lower Quebec. Now I know there's a larger one that we'll have to try and find later today. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. The walking streets here are so interesting. All the shops, upper and lower shops, staircases. Kushan Ding, I've heard good things about this restaurant. I probably said it wrong. Even the pigs are lined up to get in there. We may have to try that out later today for dinner. It's so pretty down here. I love the use of colors, the, I don't know, even just all the umbrellas are so pretty. Yeah, wow. So there's a really cool street with umbrellas covering it down here as well, right around the corner from the funicular. And let's go check this out. <laughs> Gives lots of shade. Great place to come have some lunch. So we're gonna head up to the upper town area of Old Quebec. We're in the lower town area. And if you haven't seen a funicular before, it's kind of an elevator ride that goes up the side of the mountain. It's gonna be a lot easier to do that. It's only 375 each direction. I'd rather use it going up than taking it down. And it saves you having to climb the breakneck stairs. Uh, we're gonna head on in there and go for a ride. This will take us right up to the Chateau Frontenac area. You just climb on in and you're good to go.
Plus you get some great views of lower Quebec while you're in the funicular. The funicular takes you up to the Dufferin Terrace. This is a great photo stop of Old Town, Lavai, the St. Lawrence River over there. This will also take you right to the base of the Chateau Frontenac, the Fairmont Hotel. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you'd like to take some tours, the double-decker buses go from this area as well. We would really like to go discover the St. Louis Fort, which is located under the Dufferin Terrace. You can purchase your tickets in the building that says Frontenac. You enter the fort through the Lorne kiosk. This is all located right in front of the Chateau Frontenac. It's only $3.90 per person to visit. And I'll put a link below in the description so you can check it out for yourself. When you're in here, it's very cool. This is like their refrigerator that they filled with ice. And it was good for all summer. It was, it was amazing. And there was lots of staff from Parks Canada here that were available to answer all of our questions. And learn about how far the French rule down the East Coast or teach us all about the kitchens, the stoves, all sorts of cool stuff. It was amazing down here, the history. I realized how much I don't know. <laughs> yes, that is for sure. Well, not just how much you don't know, how much I don't know either. There's so many little artifacts and different things um, that you, they found down here. The latrines, they actually have this um, bin that's full of stuff they found in the latrines. I guess there was a lot of artifacts down there. There's the kitchens, the stoves, all this very interesting stuff. You can definitely spend some time down here if you love history, for sure. Now, when you come out, you will come out near the Frontenac building where we bought the tickets. There is a Starbucks right here as well, if you are into Starbucks. And we like to collect our mugs, so they do have the Quebec mugs, the Canada mugs, as well as Montreal mugs, even though Montreal's a few hours away. Are cooling off with some fraps from Starbucks. If you are looking for Starbucks, it's located in the base of the said Chateau Frontenac, right behind us. It's really hot out. We're walking on the boardwalk. It's beautiful out here. Are you ready for the 310 stairs? I am. Let's go. That was a lot of stairs. We made it up. We get to go down some stairs now though. We do. And there's this cool wall to the city beside us. We can go down as long as we don't have to go back up. So we were fooled. We hadn't done our 310 stairs yet. More. So if you haven't been to Quebec City before, it's not flat here. Lots of hills and stairs. You can take that funicular, but all around the city it's hills everywhere. So maybe start working out ahead of time and prepare. We finally made it up all those stairs to the Plains of Abraham. This is famous for the Battle of the Plains of Abraham in 1759. Do you realize we could have parked up here for an hour for free? <laughs> that would have been nice. Yes, you can park at the Plains of Abraham for an hour for free currently. This is also a photo stop, a great place for pictures. And there's also the Citadel de Quebec here, which is located between the Plains of Abraham and Quebec City. It is the largest British fortress in all of North America. Very interesting. The walls are high. You can walk around the outside here for free. There is a museum on the inside that you do have to pay for, but on the outside, it's cool. You can see the, where the cannons were shot. That's where you enter the museum right there. So just below the Citadel, that's the Citadel right there. They're kind of working on it on the backside. There's this cool lookout with great views of the boardwalk and the Chateau Frontenac. And there's the lookout here. It's definitely worth the hike. We took the long way up here, but you can see there's a shortcut down here from the boardwalk. 
to get up here, so. To find the lookout from the bottom, you'll see the Quebec slide. Just walk up the pathway up to the lookout. Now the Chateau Frontenac also has the Fairmont Hotel inside. Now it's absolutely stunning here. If you are checking in, you would drive through the little tunnels here and check in. Let's take a quick peek inside the Fairmont here. The gorgeous chandeliers and carpets. Now it's kind of like a high-end shopping mall boutique area in here. Lots of little souvenir stores and different things. And you can also, if you are here with a loved one, go to the pop-up marriage and get married. Right, Andrea? That's right. We're already married. <laughs> <laughs> There's great grand staircases, chandeliers, and you can also mail a letter while you're here at the Fairmont. Now, if you have questions like we do, there's good news because across the street, there's the tourist information where yes, they speak English and French. They have free maps and clean washrooms. Yes, it was super handy. Next to the tourist information building, you're gonna find this neat little alley that's full of art. Come on down here and check out some of the very interesting paintings. If you keep going down there, you will come out and you'll see the Notre Dame de Quebec Basilica Cathedral. We're gonna go check this out. It is free to give yourself a self-guided tour in here. Did you know that this building is more than 350 years old? I did not know that, but the heritage and the look of it is phenomenal in here. So that does not surprise me. I, I still baffles my mind how they can do all this stained glass and do the ceilings the way they do. They also have the Tomb de Saint Francis de Laval. Wow, look at all the architecture and the detail that goes into this cathedral. It's amazing. All the carvings, the paintings. There's so much to look around and see. The details are exquisite. It's massive in here as well. It's very interesting. Here's a quick look from the outside as well. So we're gonna go ahead and walk up Rue Dauphine up to some of the other entrances to the city. We'll check out those gates as well as the parliament buildings which are up here and the gardens. The architecture is just amazing down here. So this is the entrance at Rue Dauphine. If you have a look off to the right here, you're gonna see St. John's Gate where we were last night. And in the other direction, you're gonna see the St. Louis Gate as well. So this is the St. Louis Gate. And maybe we'll go ahead and hike up this one as well because we love climbing stairs. We love stairs. Stairs are our favorite thing. We should get a Stairmaster. Nope. <laughs> Where's Shrek and Fiona? I feel like I'm in a fairy tale with a castle and the music playing. It's dreamy. It's romantic, honey. <laughs> Those are the musicians down there. That's not you singing? <laughs> no. <laughs> We've got the Fountain de Tournay over there. We'll check that out in a moment. And here's another look at the St. Louis Gate. And hey, a double-decker bus heading on through. The Fountain de Tournay is beautiful here on the edge of the gardens of the Parliament building. It's a really hot day. There's even kids playing in the fountain there. While you're here, head on over to the Parliament buildings and enjoy the gardens out in front. You can tell someone's put a lot of work into maintaining this. Absolutely beautiful. They've got all sorts of art out front. This building is massive, all the different statues and things. Very cool to check out. Yes, the Hotel du Parlement. All of this exploring and walking has made me very hungry. I think we need to head back down Rue St. Jean and look for a restaurant that was highly recommended to me. I have an inside source. Google. Google. <laughs> Paylards. Paylards. I've heard wonderful thing about Paylards thanks to Google. It's just so good. I don't know if it's because I'm so hungry. We are a threat. What did we get? Brioche. Brioche, chocolate one. Um, bacon. Bacon and cheese. I don't know what it's called. And I know this is like a Danish. It's cut in half. Um, yeah, it all looks so good. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna spend the next couple hours just exploring Quebec, checking out the monuments, the cannons, 
even the views. Letting it all soak in. There's so much to see. That's the mural there we were looking for. I think we're gonna head back down to lower Quebec City and find some dinner. We're gonna take the break next stairs down, which actually goes from where that Frontenac building was, where we bought our tickets, all the way down to the funicular at the bottom. Don't break your neck, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to Kushan Ding. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but it sounds amazing. I'm tired. Do you know where you're going? Keep going back and forth between the carbonara penne and the Caribbean sal chicken salad. Do you know what you're getting? I think I'm gonna get the chicken on served on a waffle. Two pieces of chicken on a waffle with fries and coleslaw. Sounds pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and stroll back to our hotel. If you are here in Quebec, Kushan Ding, excellent place for dinner. I'm sure I didn't say that correctly. We happened to come across this cool place where you can get a meal and a beverage while sitting in a lawn chair with your feet in the water. How awesome is that on a hot day? Amazing. So hope you enjoyed visiting Quebec City with us. We had a great time. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with us on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.